Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death Row. Of. It's Friday, which means old Zerface came to the tower and he brought himself a gun. And is it ever a gun? So this week, Zer is selling the Graviton Forfeit for your hunters to give you Shade Step. He's selling the Imperium Bellicose for your Titan to help you float in the air. And he's also selling the Nothing Manacles for your Warlock. All very good, very interesting exotics. But the weapon this week? It's the Universal Remote, right here, baby. This is what he's selling this week, and I like to do a Zur video, but not a Zur video where I tell you what he's got. A Zur video where I tell you, should you buy the exotic weapon that he has? So should you buy the Universal Remote? Well, let's find out. Should you buy it? I think, uh, I think the answer is probably pretty obvious. It's, uh, yeah, you should definitely buy this. Um, let's have a triple down just to start it off with. Maybe four? Yep, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, definitely buy the Universal Remote if you don't have it. You want this gun. We'll start the video off with a triple down. That was this is live com. This is not not recorded footage. So here's the Universal Remote. I've had mine for a long time since year one. Uh, immediately upgraded it in year two when it was available. It comes with kinetic damage and it is a primary weapon. It is a primary shotgun. Everybody's favorite primary in trials is now an actual primary. Uh, smooth ballistics, soft ballistics, CQB ballistics. I put on anything that increases the range. Uh, we have crowd control, hammer forge to increase the range. Lightweight if you want it. Snapshot if you want it. Because the Universal Remote's talent is range and precision, damage increases greatly while ADSing. So basically, you get shot package, you get range finder, and you get something else. I don't know. But uh, it's very, very good. Very nice shotgun. Really enjoy using it. Oh, that guy. He so wanted to get shot by it. And uh, should you buy it? Universal Remote this week at Zur. Should you buy it? Definitely agree with it. You should definitely purchase this. Ooh, almost got him. So, what's what makes Universal Remote so much fun? Well, one, it's a primary. So, you're using a shotgun as your primary. So, those issues with running out of ammo for a shotgun, pretty much non-existent when you use the Universal Remote as your primary. Uh, you saw it in the beginning. I got a triple down. So this shotgun has ridiculous range. This one really has replaced the uh, the Hammer Forge range finder, Hammer Forge shot package shotguns that were in year one. Sorry, I had to concentrate right there. Year one in the beginning of year two. As the uh, as the dominant gun, now you do have to use an exotic slot on this shotgun. But if you're into Defender Titan and you have a uh, you know good old Force Barrier with War Machine. Killing somebody with a shotgun will activate it if you're using the uh, this thing. What's this thing called? I can't remember. Professional. No backup plans. If you're using no backup plans, you have a punch, you get a shotgun kill. This is the one to do. Oh, we're going to get him. Oh, oh. Hunter May. Oh, he had backstab on the jerk. The jerk. So, Universal Remote Livecom. Should you buy it from Zer? definitely do recommend if you don't have it let me know why let me know why and if you just don't like it let me know why which I can probably imagine why you don't like this gun most people's complaint with this gun is that it's a shotgun it's just you know what are you doing post mortem see that shot should have killed him but I really enjoy I, I didn't when the universal remote returned to PvP in year two I didn't initially use it too much and then you know people started using it I know I see Lucky and Buttwipe use their shotguns and trials to do a what you're dead son get out of here I keep getting postmortems with my punches I see people use it in trials people using bubble titans with the universal remote and it's just an entertaining combination to use and it does piss people off I understand that which is fine you know a gun setup can piss people off there's nothing wrong with that which it just usually means it's effective. Hi, I'll have this, thank you. So we're gonna run this uh, spark on in with the universal remote, see how we do. I will stop for nothing. Oh, jumping helps. Jumping always helps. Push forward, guardians. Oh, right, let's do a backflip. Boom! So, Livecom being very effective with the Universal Remote. Trying to get some kills, though. Because these fellas don't want to cooperate with me. I think he's using it. 
He was using the Universal... No, he's using Party Crasher. But, uh... So, the Universal Remote is just fun. It's just a fun gun. You gotta get real close, though. Not real, real close, but real close. Because if you're fighting from a distance, you want something to make up that mid-range as your secondary. So, I'm using a fusion rifle. I'm not really using a fusion rifle, but I'm... I would be using it if I wasn't trying to record a video. So... It's, uh, a lot of fun. I really like the Universal Remote. I've always liked shotguns in Crucible, but... <laughs> I'll take all your kills. Oh, get him. Oh, get him. Where did he go? Where did he go? How is he up there? Guys, we've got to talk about this. What is happening right now? <laughs> Universal Remote Livecom with disappearing rift runners. That guy's got to be lagging. So, am I lagging? Who's lagging here? Oh, I'm lagging. My bad. Sorry about that, guys. But anyway... What do you guys think? Uh, I know Zur has sold this a couple times in year two, and this one is just the most recent. That guy's above me. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm definitely lagging. But uh, he sold this a couple times in year two, and every time he does, the Crucible becomes filled with Guardians using the Universal Remote to uh, basically take your head off. And I don't mind it. A couple times I'll get frustrated, but it's, it's a pretty easy gun to counter. Just get something with a little bit of range, and you'll be fine. Because uh, once you figure out somebody's using the Universal Remote, you can usually counter it pretty easily. But it's still a lot of fun. And not everybody on their team. Oh, hello. All the snipers. All the snipers taking me out right now. But, uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Does it frustrate you? Do you have fun with it? I'm always interested. I'm not noticing my force barrier coming up too, too often. But my Titan's really built around intellect and strength. Or intellect, discipline, not strength. So I don't have a full strength build right now. I did, this would be procking a little bit more often. Hi. Oh, you got me. Oh, no, you're dead end. No, you're dead end. Get me. No. Sorry, it's early in the morning right now. And I'm being very loud. Very loud. Oh, we got a super. So, we're going to go try to grab the rift again. Keep using the universal remote. Try not to get hit by that. Well, you know, it happens. Gotcha. Let's see if we can get another guy. Oh, there's my force barrier. Nice. Narrow escape. I'll have it. And here we go. Ah ha ha. Oh, I got him though. Nice. So guys, this is the point in the video where it becomes a true live com and just basically a live stream of a video. But Universal Remote, should you buy it from Zer, definitely recommend. I always recommend any of the exotics if you don't have them to go ahead and buy them. Whoa. Hi, I'll be over here. <laughs> Run through there, please. I'm so used to having shoulder charge as a movement system, it's it's weird to not have it. I just basically ran that Titan around the map to, uh... Oh, I see him. Gotcha, bro. Ah, oh, he got away from me. But yeah, essentially... Just, I just like it, and I always recommend getting any of the exotics Zer has if you don't already have it. Because one, you never know when it's going to be changed. And two, you never know when it's going to be buffed, nerfed, or you know something about it will be uh, improved. Uh, just anything. Bungie has a, a history of improving exotics. So, or unimproving. So, I don't think the Universal Remote is OP. I think it's right where it should be because you once you get out of its effective range, you really are in a struggle. So like this hallway, I really can't even walk down that hallway with this gun because I don't have the range to compete. I'd have to pull out a sniper rifle and I just don't feel like sniping right now. So you will notice that, uh, oh hi. What? What? I know I got you, bruh. I got you, bruh. Come on now. Come on now. Where you at? Where you at? I see you. Did you just hit me with smoke and then kill me with a PDX-45? That is my gun of choice. So, with others, with the other Zer Exotus, he's got the Imperium Bellicose for your Titan, which will make you uh, hover in the air like you just don't care. Oh, yeah. Which, I haven't used that too much, but when you're using an Airborne, if you're in like an Airborne Nightfall where you need to, you know, damage is increased while you're in the air, uh, definitely use it. For your Hunter, the Graviton Forfeit, which grants Shade Step. I haven't used it too much because I don't Shade Step too hard, but sometimes if you really want to. Ouch. Oh, we're going to get this Titan, guys. Oh! Somebody golden gunned that Titan. Hi. You're on my Rift, and I would like you to not be, please. 
I can still shotgun you. Thank you. We lost, but good example. Uh, so Graviton forfeit, pretty good. Oh, hi. Hello. And then uh, for your Warlock, the Nothing Manacles, definitely recommend getting those. But this Universal Remote, should you buy it? Absolutely. This was an emphatic yes. I hope you're enjoying. I hope you're enjoying the live com system, guys. I've got going on. It's a little, you know, a little, little interesting in the flow. But <laughs> top of team, live com again. Top of team. So let me know in the comments if you picked it up. If you already have it. If you like it. If you don't like it. If it pisses you off. Uh, I'm always interested. And uh, hopefully, if you guys are at Destiny Community Con tomorrow, I'll be there too. I'm gonna leave as soon as uh, as soon as I finish this morning. Get the kids up and stuff, and I'll be on the way. So, if you see me, look for a tall guy in a volunteer shirt. I'll be there. And until next time, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Leave a like if you've enjoyed this. Subscribe if you want to see more. Helps the channel grow. Helps the videos grow. And uh, helps my heart grow just a little bit. <laughs> but until next time, I'll see you later, guys. See you. Bye.